Hello, it's Illusion Dispeller back again, and I am going to talk to you some more about dealing with the, after the abuse of the narcissist. talked about anger in the last video, but you'll feel a lot of anger and some revengeful thoughts um, on how to handle that. So let's go on from there. Okay, so you've done a lot of research. You, you're out of the relationship, you're at the end of the relationship, wherever you may be. You've done the research and you have found them out. You have discovered what narcissistic personality disorder is and that your friend definitely has the traits of that. Okay? So you want to tell the narcissist they are toast. You nail them. The gig is up. You want to say, ha ha, you will never control me again. You're thinking that maybe now that you understand how the MPD, Narcissistic Personality Disorder, might have come about in his or her personality, that somehow you will make them understand, turn from their wicked ways, beg your forgiveness, and become a totally awesome and kind human being. Right? Let's go on. Why is this important to you, first of all? Why is it important? you know that they know that they are narcissistic. Why is that important? Because in your mind, if only he or she wasn't the way they have been, this person you found out they really were, then you and he or she could reconnect, forgive and forget, and live happily ever after. Great in theory, but generally not the way it works, not with a narcissist. By definition, the narcissist very self-centered and self-protective. Hang on, my buzz is beeping for my mouth. I'll be right back. That sounds weird. Sorry about that. Okay, as I said, by definition, narcissists are very self-centered. They're um, self-absorbed and very, very focused on protecting that false self. Um, which means they are not likely to admit that they are one even if you show them hard evidence, statistical data, websites, books, articles, examples, or if you keep a mile long journal of every example of them showing narcissistic traits, their entire drive on this earth is to avoid blame and responsibility in any way, shape, or form possible shovel it back on you through projecting, um, deny it, rationalize it, make excuses, anything except feeling, admitting, and changing. To the narcissist, you confronting them and saying that they are flawed is like someone taking away your favorite pet or child. If somebody stole your pet or your child, or even the very air you breathe, as one person said, if someone stole those things from you, you would do everything you could to get those things back, right? Well, to a narcissist, by you confronting them, you're stealing away their persona, their false image, their mask, the thing they hide behind, this image of who they want you to believe they are. You're stealing that. You're ripping off the peels and the layers. It reminds me a lot of The Wizard of Oz where the dog goes behind the curtain and peels it back so that everybody can see that the great and powerful Oz is just a little puny old man that's a big fat liar. Well, it's the same type of thing. You're stripping that mask off the narcissist. You're stripping the mirage. And to him or her, they live to protect that false side of themselves. So to them, you are now public enemy number one. You are in essence stealing their air, stealing their pets, stealing the thing that they hold most dear, their false flawless persona. Um, this is not a good thing with a narcissist. By you confronting them, what you're going to experience is something called narcissistic rage. This can either come out in verbal form, sometimes it comes out in physical form, especially if you're dealing with the narcissist slash psychopath. You don't want to invoke that in the narcissist. It can also come out in the form of the silent treatment, the smear campaigns, which is where they badmouth you all over to all your friends, your neighbors, and tell them that you did all these terrible things to them that you could not possibly have even imagined what have done. 
So that's the reason why you getting all excited and I'm going to go confront the narcissist does not work. Not usually. In my case, when I confronted the narcissist, her response was, I can't believe you would think that about me. How could you think that I was like that? I am not a psychopathic killer. I'm not a serial killer. I'm not that bad. Um, so it was basically, if it's not the extremism of the mass murderer to her, she was just fine. She didn't have these problems. Um, she became very angry with me, did the smear campaign thing, sent her husband to threaten me over the phone, threatened to confiscate all the materials and gifts she ever gave me. Um, yeah, it's not a pretty thing. You don't want to confront the narcissist. It doesn't do any good. Your best thing to do is let them go and move on with your life. For one thing, not only will you be happy, all your friends and family will be a lot happier too because they're really sick of hearing about it. Trust me, because I drove mine nuts with it. Um, and it's just not fair to them. So, that's my theory on that one. Um, stay tuned for the next video, whatever it's about. I don't honestly know yet, but it'll be coming next show. God bless you. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned.